Police officers support their colleagues who are fighting for the title of the strongest man. 27 teams of the patrol policemen from all over Ukraine take part in the Strongman Championship. The volume of muscles is not important here. This is where preparation is important. Physical, psychological and emotional training. Maximum effort should be made for this, all in complex, and it gives the overall result. The team from the Volyn region has been preparing for the championship for a month. Now they are counting on good results. They need to be shown in five disciplines. All of them check athletes' strength and endurance. Before their performance, the police watch their rivals compete. We contemplate, make conclusions. We will try to do everything right. Each team consists of three members. The strongest were selected for the competition in local offices. Yes. The weight of this ball is 90 kilograms. It is even hard to move it. And the task of the athletes is to throw it over the crossbar the maximum number of times within two minutes. The strongman championship among patrol policemen in Ukraine is held for the second time. Preparation for this competition requires iron will, iron nerves and very, very strong muscles. The Strongman Federation assists the police in organizing the championship. Its representatives are the strongest people in Ukraine. They say even though patrol men are amateurs in this sport, they will not have any concessions. Everyone competes according to the same rules, which are clearly spelled out in the Charter of the Federation of Strongmen of Ukraine. The only indulgence is the weight of items. They are twice as light as those for professional athletes. The patrol men say that such strongman skills can be useful to them in their work. It's an explosive power. It helps in apprehensions of criminals very well and also helps to take a hit if such a sudden hit happens. The team of the Dnipropetrovsk region has won the second competition in a row. Therefore, the next strongman police competition will again be held in Dnipro. Reported by Vadim Kramer and Natalia Gusak, UATV News.